One of the most important concepts you're going to want to get your head around in Bootstrap is something called the grid system. Bootstrap is built on a grid that is made up of 12 units. So inside the container, there's going to be 12 logical sections that you can use as you're putting together your page. So if you wanted to have two columns, you might have two elements that take up six units from the grid system each in order to make them each take an equal amount of the page. This is done through classes. These classes start with call, have a dash, and then a size of screen that you're pointing at. In most cases, you're going to start with MD for medium, and then a number of columns in the grid system that you want this element to be sized for. And so obviously two six column sizes next to each other are going to take up two even sections on the grid system. So this number indicates simply how wide in this grid system you're going to take. This is sort of the opposite if you're used to using percentages in that the larger number still indicates more room on the page, but we're really telling you to take these logical units on the page instead of pure percentages. So that if we are using four columns, we can get three across the page, three, we're getting four columns across the page, etc. And th in this way, you can build up your page to have certain elements being sized with each other, to be placed side by side with each other in a very logical way. And most websites are built in these grid sort of sections. You might have on a blog a body section for the stories that takes up 10 wide and then a sidebar that takes up 2. Those are the ideas you should look at is what you're doing is you're structuring how much room you want each element inside of your web page to take in the logical grid that is inside the container of Bootstrap. Now, in many cases, your grid system isn't going to take these even units. You're not going to always have exact three fours across or four threes across. You're going to be mixing and matching these. And doing that is pretty simple. In this case, I'm having a column that's nine wide next to a column that's three to create that sort of main body and sidebar experience. I can also choose to offset a column. Instead of having to create something invisible on the left, I can use call size offset dash the size to tell it to push an object right across unused columns. And this way you don't have to create sizers and things that will sort of get in the way. And dictating these columns will also wrap. So if we have a six, and then let's say a column with an offset of two, we're pushing that across. And if we have another element that would normally be off the page, it's going to wrap it onto the next row. The reason it wrapped it is because we're specifying that this is going to take three logical grid units wide, but there isn't room, so it knows to pull it down into the next row itself. By using a mix of column sizes, offsets, and wrapping, you can be able to define how the structure of your website is going to actually look using this very simple grid system. Let's see how this works in practice.